Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video. As you can see behind me, we have the Lamborghini Sion FK37. Now this is going to be one of my favorite videos, not only because of the beast behind me, but it's my birthday, or at least when this video comes out on Monday, it's going to be my birthday. Starting off with the front, Lamborghini has these very iconic Y-shaped headlights, which, which was brought off of the Lamborghini Turso Millennial, which is a concept for Lamborghini's first ever fully electric car, which I believe is right. And the paint is in this kind of like matte green with gold metallic flakes called Ver Verde Geef. Which I really like in person because you can see all the gold flakes. I just love all the carbon work that was put into this car. And down here you can see some of the gold flakes maybe and all the carbon. And something that else is cool about this car is this is pretty much the look of Lamborghini's future given that everyone has to go along with the emission guidelines. So everything's gonna pretty much be boring now and just be like uh, six liter cars and pretty much um, soon going fully electric which is going to be really annoying, but this is the first glimpse, glimpse of Lamborghini's future with the Sion. This is fitted with Lamborghini's common 6.5 liter V12 naturally aspirated engine, but it's different than that, it's hybrid. And what is very different about the Lamborghini Sion is it has a super capacitor. Now you guys might be thinking, what is that? That sounds like something from Back to the Future. Well, the super capacitor basically is an energy storage unit where it holds all this energy. And then when you jump on the accelerator, it like releases and bursts out. Causing the car to be quicker on shifts, which a lot of people don't like that much in the V12 because it really kicks you in the back and it's not really that like smooth. But with the hybrid system, it's very much quicker. So basically on the Lamborghini Sion, it's fitted with 785 horsepower, but adding with the hybrid system, the super capacitor, it adds 34 more horsepower, equaling out to 819 horsepower. So the Lamborghini Sion's full name is the Lamborghini Sion FKP37. Now you guys might be wondering what the FKP37 means. Basically, and when Lamborghini first started off, pretty much a few years like after, they kept getting bought by very different other brands, like for instance, Chrysler for one, off the top of my head. But once they were under VW's group, which is obviously Volkswagen, uh, the chairman, whose name was Ferdinand Karl Piet, pretty much took control and pretty much brought Lamborghini back to life. And the 37 stands for 1937, when, he, when the chairman was born. Around here, you can see all the different carbon work. Sorry if there's like a glare, but if you could maybe see back here, not sure if you could see it, is where the super capacitor is. Basically, it's right behind the driver's seat. You can see all the little details that's put into it. And a giant air vent. And you can see that it has very different seats rather than the iconic Lamborghini Aventador. As I make my way around the back, I'll show you some of the different aero work. Lamborghini likes to bring life back into other cars, such as the Lamborghini Countach, with the three lights in the back, because on the back of the Lamborghini Countach, the brakes lights had three different light colors, and that's just something that really we did to kind of pay like homage to the Countach, which I really find is really cool. Because it kind of looks like a scorpion type of thing in a way. So over here, you can see these flaps. Basically what the flaps do is, when the engine gets hot, the flaps are kind of like a little spring, and the springs open, causing these flaps to open and allow the hot air to leave for cooling. And you can see back here, this is Sion which is really nice, but I'm pretty sure you can't see it when this wing is down. You can see all the little like gold work over here. 
and all the carbon. Now this diffuser is crazy. And see, the thing that's different about this car, rather than the Countach, the um, Centenario, because like a lot of people like to say that, oh, the Sion and the Centenario are just body kits off of the Aventador. One, it's not. Two, it's obviously a completely different car. And um, I, what, from what I heard is it drives completely different. But um, one um, thing that's different about the Centenario and the Sion is the Centenario's back, pretty much, the rear diffuser is the whole back of the car with this being whole different like lines and everything and I don't know I mean I haven't made up my mind rather if I like this better than the um the Centenario but it definitely is going to be driven more from what I've heard and what I've already seen because a lot of people don't really drive their Centenarios that much but there are a lot of people that do which is good because it's a car that's meant to be driven. So Sion means lightning bolt in the Bolognese Italian dialect because it's an Italian car. And it's um, also based in Bologna, Italy. Where the factory is. And while the Lamborghini Sion is 1 of 63, Lamborghini is also building the Lamborghini Sion Roadsters, which are 1 of 19, which is basically... For those of you that don't know what a roadster is, it is basically the Sion, but basically just a convertible, which has no roof. And by no roof, meaning like it doesn't come with roof, and you can't like put one on, like with the Aventador roadsters, where like you could put like the roof panels in the trunk. One thing about the Sion that I don't really like that much is it's not really so much about the car, it's just about like, I guess like the brand is, they said that no Sion is going to look the same. While they kind of did change it up a little, the, this is pretty much the launch spec, but if you come over here, you can see it has different brake calipers. And while that is obviously kind of different, it's kind of just, um, little things that is kind of like annoying where it's like if I was an owner I would not want my car to look exactly the same as someone else's so but it's still nice where there's other Sions like in Los Angeles where it's this exact same spec I believe but it has red red for calipers which is I'm pretty sure the same exact launch spec but never, nevertheless, it's still an amazing looking car, and I'm sure it's an amazing driving car. You can see all the gold flakes over here. And all the ways for the air can channel through. And Lamborghini loves to put Ys in their cars, if you can't tell where. If this is on, you can see that the whole headlight is just a giant Y. And as I was just noticing, and the light, has a whole bunch of Y's in a way. I mean, it's carbon fiber, but from here, it just looks like a bunch of Y's. And over here is the Bugatti Chiron, even though I'm mainly pointing out the seal. So the Sion is just under $3 million, but basically, if you just want to round it up, it's $3 million. And for instance, over here, we have the Lamborghini Huracan Evo. These start at $200,000 to $250,000. You can get like 10 or 12 of those for the price of this one Lamborghini Sion. And if I had the money, I would definitely buy this because this thing is just insane. And this is only one of 63 where they mass produce the Huracan. And you can see over here, Lamborghini put the 63 emblem showing that it's one of 63. 
And here, as you can see, is the steering wheel, which I really like. It's pretty much the same Aventador steering wheel, but they did a little bit um, different, like, carbon work on it. And the seats, as I was saying before, are different. And then here, if you can see, it has the Centenario center display with the little screen. I, I believe it's a little bit smaller. I've seen the Centenario before. And if I zoom in, you can see it's 1 to 63. And the cool thing about this Sion is it's the first ever Sion that was delivered in New York City just in, um, I think just over two months ago, actually. Unfortunately, I was not here to see the unveiling of it. Maybe in the future, I can. Which they did right outside over here. Some things that are different about the Lamborghini Sion is from other hybrid cars is most hybrid cars like the LaFerrari and the 918 and the P1 use a lithium ion battery, but the Sion uses a different type of technology obviously called the supercapacitor, which is three times more powerful and three times lighter. I'm pretty sure these, is, these are a new wheel design, which I really like. So one thing that the, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's just a walk around of the Sion. Hopefully in the future, when I'm able to travel more, I can go film more videos of the Sion, maybe even drive one or just see one driving down the street. So enough of me talking, I'll show the outside of the car. Unfortunately, I can't show the inside, but through the windows you can see. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on the Lamborghini Sion. I'm going to have more videos like this of walk-arounds of cars and just any car in general. Let me know what car you guys want to see in the comments below. I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you like and subscribe and new videos pretty much from now every Monday. Thanks.